hello and welcome back to my channel um sorry i haven't done so many videos recent uh, well the last few months um i can't remember when my last video was um but we've had a lot going on um one of them being um that this little guy has been born um and then we have also moved house so we're in a slightly different place um so we've gone from our flat to an actual house um so we're renting at the moment um so yeah we've been quite busy i've had quite a tough time with the pregnancy with him so i haven't been able to i've just decided to drop the videos completely because i was going to start them up again um but it never happened and um yeah so I thought I would start um, my videos now on maternity and I've had a couple of weeks to recover from having him. Um, so I thought I would start with what I've got the kids for Christmas because um, it's a video I love doing anyway. So, so for the kids this year I have tried to keep the budget down and I have I did actually start Christmas shopping quite early this year, knowing that I was going to be on maternity and um, need to spread out the cost quite a bit this time. I've actually, uh, we've gone and bought all the Christmas presents in advance. Um, so we only had a few things to get while um, during the Black Friday sales, um, which we had have got now. So we've literally got everything. There's just... Um, what a couple of toys which we've had to give him early um, because we've needed them um, for so we've in basically included it in his budget for um, Christmas presents so he's just going to be getting them early and my daughter already knows this we have said Theo is getting some Christmas presents early um, which i will there's one up here which she knows about and she um we haven't quite uh, quite washed it yet but we've got two of them going but i'll explain that one later so um with my daughter we have got a part of her presents then to try and make them share a bit um when they're older we're basically do it starting from um, obviously this year so my daughter will understand that every year they have a shared pile of Christmas presents which both of them can play with then Theo will have his own so his Christmas presents are we've got him things that he we think he might like when he's a bit older because there's nothing we really need at the moment for him because he's um, so small but we can um, get open them up throughout the year but we're open up um my daughter will open up his presents this year um and show him the presents he's got and obviously there's not going to be much interest but it's getting her to help out with him so skylar is actually four now um so we've got her toys for a four-year-old and then he's going to be about six weeks but as i said we're trying to spread the cost uh spread the age out a bit so some of them are for slightly older babies and some of them are for slightly new babies um but we will um obviously give them to him when he's ready so we i will try and start in some sort of order i'll let you know which toys we're putting down in a shared pile and which toys are just going to be for um that child and we'll go from there um and i'll try and put a link um in the description of every item i can find and um where i got it from so let's get started so the next bits what we're doing is actually the bits that i've got from the kids um no to the kids sorry from santa so skylar has actually picked out um what theo wants as well um so we have told her that we're doing it so um santa's doing it slightly differently this year because we've got two of them and skylar was um 
thinking everything was from Santa last year. We've tried to divide it up a bit on, we've done a £20 budget from Santa uh, for each child, um, about, and that Santa is going to bring them the present that she uh, they have asked for, she's asked for in Theo's case for him. And then the rest is mummy and daddy. Um, and then they both get a 20 pound budget to give each other because we want to get them both into giving um, each other presents as well. So Skylar has actually gone and picked out Theo's present and then when Theo's older, he'll actually buy presents for her properly. So we gave her a £20 um, note and she actually picked out some stuff and we said, oh no, that's too much. Or, um, so we brought it down to the right price. Um, so going back to Santa, Skylar actually asked for Theo to have this VTech baby driver thing so um, it's just a steering wheel with lots of twisty things and um, buttons and it actually goes on the pram or it can tie up on a um, bar if you've got one on the high chair so Skylar asked this this was $21.99 um, it says from three months so once he starts um, being able to set up or something, we'll probably give it to him and holding his head up properly. Um, but he's still a bit, he's holding his head up, but not as long. Then for Skylar, I'll put a picture down here. She has actually asked for a light up, a glow up board thing from Crayola. But she's also asked um for something else which is quite similar so what we're going to do is tell her that uh santa hasn't um bought what you asked for but he thought that you're like this instead which is something she's going to love anyway because um i'll show it to you anyway she's been asking for these bits for ages anyway um but um, we have told her that San, um, we're going to tell her that she's got something very similar from Mummy and Daddy um, because it wasn't £20 anyway. And she's already got a drawing board here anyway with um, multicolours anyway and another one that does grey version. But she's just obviously asking for something very similar. So we thought we would get her something different that she would love anyway and i'm sure she'll love it anyway and she won't complain about it so from santa so this has actually come up to 20 pounds um she, we have got her i got these in aldi today um and these were 199 each she has actually seen these everywhere she keeps asking for new coloring books with bluey on so this one is actually a little colouring book with all the little scenes on which she will love and that was $1.99. Then she keeps seeing a sticker book which is this one. So this is a sticker and activity book. Then I know some kids might not think this is a main present from Santa but Skylar has been pointing out some of these in entertainment, I think they're a pound each. These are the Disney a Treasure Cove stories. So she still loves her Jack Jack. So we've got Jack Jack Attack. And we've also got Paw Patrol, Jungle Bark, and she still absolutely loves her books. She goes mad for books in the evening still. Then the main part of the present, uh, the big part is going to be these two. She's been asked, every time we go past these, she wants these two. So it's the Granny's Bluey set, and this was about £9. And then we got this off Amazon for £4, um, which is the Granny's book to go along with it. She absolutely loves Bluey, so I know she's going to actually love that present from Santa, and she's going to be quite happy with that. Um... So that was those two and then each child so 
they know that it's from Santa and there's no confusion whose presents who. We are going to assign a child a bag and I'm actually going to put Skylar knows that her name begins with S. So on one of these bags, which I got from B&M, uh, no, Home Sense, no, Home Bargains, Home Bargains, I'm going to put an S for Skylar. Um, so this is probably going to be Theo's bag with the Santas on. So I'm going to put a T on here. Um, I'm just going to sew it on somehow. And then this one's $3.99 as well. And Skylar's already seen this one. Hannah has asked for this one, but I'll double check with her. Um, but all the presents from Santa will, <coughs> <coughs> will go in these so they know the difference when they're older and they'll be keeping those um, until, uh, yeah keeping those each year and Santa will be putting their presents in those. So the next lot of presents I will go through quickly are the rest of the books we've got them. So these are actually sharing books um, for certain ones. So all these ones are actually sharing books. She will most likely share like the Bluey Grannies as well with him because she loves to sit and um, sit next to him and read all the books that she can to him um, as best she can. So we've actually got the 10 for 10 pounds. I don't know if there's actually 10 here now to So we have taken one away because Skylar's had one of these books already for Halloween, which I think was the Spidervella one. Um, but these are 10 for £10 from the works. Um, I've got them before and Skylar's absolutely gone mad for them. So this time we have got Maisie's Christmas Eve, The Pooh in the Zoo, uh, Hey Daggy at the Beach, Skylar has actually picked out some of these herself um, as well. So Ben and Holly, The Lost Egg. Meg Goes to Bed. The Little Mermaid. Oh, it can't have been that one that she had. She had another one for Halloween. So we've got um, Squashavella. The Yucky Worms, Moomins and the, wing, uh, the Wishing Star, Bye Bye Baby Brother, okay, and then we have actually got this one off Amazon, I think it was, and that's Bluey um, Varan. Oh, Christmas Eve with Veranda Santa. So as I said, Sky loves it, um, Bluey. So they'll be sharing that one. Then um, one thing we are looking for still, if we can find it. So Skylar is actually in love with the Minions at the moment. Um, we have got the original Minions, but we um, had this um, already and we've been going through our stuff trying to get rid of things so we've got some children films already which was despicable me we already had and we're actually giving it to her for christmas so it's something for her to watch um but this would actually cost us nothing because we've had it already but she um is starting to love films so we're slowly trying to introduce films that we think she'd like that isn't on any um tea the TV anywhere at the moment so Despicable Me we haven't found yet so we've just got that what the first one and we thought we'd see how she gets on with it. So the last two books we have got are Chris for the Christmas Eve. Um, we're not doing so much boxes this year but we're going to bake some cookies for Santa on Christmas Eve because um, it's a Saturday my husband will be home anyway. Um, for my daughter, so um, for both of them, I have managed to get some 
secondhand Christmas pyjamas because um, Skylar does wear her Christmas pyjamas but um, I found them on uh, Vinted and they're both brand new with tags so they're not secondhand but we bought them cheaply um, just some Mickey Mouse Christmas pyjamas and they're matching so he's got a set and she's got a set but I just got those off Vinted because um, I found them with tags so they're not really second hand but I haven't really included it in the budget anyway it was just something that I came across and thought that is a bit che a cheaper way of buying them I think I spent two pounds on hers and a pound on his so I can't really complain with those so they're going to be for the Christmas Eve so I'll just wrap them up with some wrapping paper then Skylar's actually picked out Hey Zuggy Christmas uh, the Christmas badge book for her for her Christmas Eve box book and then for him she actually picked out Dear Santa little um, so it's like a pop-up book so you can they, um, lift the patch up so like that so these were actually in Asda, two for seven pounds. So I got both of those for seven pounds. And then for Skylar, it won't be for him. It's just a little activity um, to do the sun catchers. So it's got paint and the little um, plastic shape. So she can do as many as she wants. Um, but obviously when he's older, um, they have to share them and I got these for a pound from B&M, not B&M, HomeSense. The next few, the next few bits I'll go on to, I'll go on to, um, so Skylar, so the presents from each sibling. Um, so Skylar actually picked out Theo's, so these were on offer at the time, I think these were $6.99 or $5.99, I can't remember. Um, so these are the little VTEC Toot Toot Driver cars, um, so she's asked for an aeroplane for him. And then to go with that, she's got a little In the Night Garden Ickle Piggle soft toy. Um, so she's picked those out. So what we'll do Christmas Eve is get her to help wrap them. Then for her from him, he's given her. So Skylar actually asked for Everest Paw Patrol because she is actually missing that one. So that was ten packs. So nine ninety nine. No, that was uh, $8.99 on Amazon. It was on a deal. Um, so we saved a pound. I know it's not much, but it's so that every penny counts, doesn't it? So that one was from Amazon. But you can, I think now it's not on offer. It's $9.99 everywhere. So Smith Toys is $9.99 and so is Amazon. Then we got these. So we got a set of three things um which are somewhere else at the moment um and they were three four two so these came under it so these were actually 4.99 and these are twistable crayons which she's got he's got her and then to go with the giant bluey um Crayola colouring pages. She has has already got the Paw Patrol ones, but she keeps seeing the blue one and asking for it. So we got that one from Theo, and I think this one was actually under the three for two offer. Then we will go on to educational. So a lot of these are just going to be for Skylar for now, but when he gets older, he can obviously share them with her. But these are all age-appropriate educational toys that we got for her. 
because um, she hasn't got too many um, of some of the bits that we were wanting. And then we saw a few extra bits that we thought she'd absolutely love. She, so she is still in test space. So we've actually got two things on space. So we actually got this from the um, Costco. So this was eight ninety nine, and um, and it's a space um, solar system. Let me turn that round. So it's a space solar system, and um, which she gets to build up. Then it's got a little book and a poster and it's all educational um we've already had a look in it with her and she absolutely loved it so it's got sticker chart model solar system glow in the dark shapes um a reference book sticker book and the wall chart so that was 8.99 for that one then We all, then we also got her this from TK Maxx, which was five ninety nine. So it was Space Bingo. So she has got like um, a space set, but uh, not a space set, a nursery. Um, at nursery, they got like bingo. So we thought we could do that with this one. It's a space things, which she's going to love. And then we have got her puzzles. So these ones were... $3.99 from TK Maxx and they've got the numbers so where she can count the three and the two um, so she can put the right number of in this case ducks on them then they've also got included some sums so some of them are plus ones and take away so we have started teaching her those um, but we've been doing it on paper, so I thought these would be quite nice um, to do it this way. And that's for three plus. And there's 30 of those in there to match up. Then I saw this in the Black Friday sales. I will try and put it up as soon as I can, so um, in case you want it. I think this was 15 dollars 15 down to $10.99. And this is teaching them how to... Um, the human body work so there is what was in here so it's got like a oh keep things there uh, it's got a educational book a measuring cup um, the card for the skeleton hand so you can with straws and string they build a moving hand they show you how the lungs work um, and to make blood this is four plus, which is age appropriate for her, but this is the first sort of, I'm gonna say science educational kit that she's had. So me and my husband will sit with her and do it with her. But I think she's going to love that because she loves learning the human body anyway. Then, then we also got her, we had got her before, but the leaks frog start um book which she loves doing so we've just got her a new book from this was from smith toys i think this was 10.99 so we've just got her the abc one and this one is where she can um so she can follow around the letters so she's learning vowels then Um, so then she's um, also got like little follow the lines, we've got mazes, so it's all different ways of learning the alphabet. Um, I think it's also got the ABC song in here, so she's had this um, little starter book and she's been doing bits in there. Um, and then it's help find the letters. So there's quite a few educational bits in there which she is starting to know her letters and her sounds um, so we thought that one would be good 
then the one big thing that we needed for her which we're saving for christmas she has got one of them already and she absolutely loves it so she is practicing at the moment drawing um lines and shapes so we've actually got her a few more because she was doing so well in them. So she's got a bit of a variety. So we've got, these are all sort of three plus onwards. I think one of them was four, but she's doing so well. We thought we'd try her on it. So she does it with us. So we've got our ABC book. So this needed pencils with it, which I'll show you in a minute. I have got them down here. Um, so we got her ABC and this one is learning. So she's got to obviously match the pocket. Um, how many, this has got numbers in as well. So how many um, bells are there? So she's got to count the bells. Um, and she loves all these sort of things. She does this at nursery. She's got mazes. Um, so this one is actually one that you can draw in with a pen or pencil, but we have got her some pencils. This is from the works again, that was £2. Then we got her in the same first learning preschool one. We've got the counting, that's £2 now. Um, so she's got to count like the frogs, um, the shapes, adding and taking away. So it's a little something to start her for nurse uh, preschool when she goes. Then we got a few different. So these two are another. Ah. So this one is actually a white clean book, but it doesn't come with the pens, but we got a few of them anyway. So it's um, learning how to write words. Um, so she can trace over them and then she is actually starting to write some letters on her own which she can start doing here so she can write doll next to it she hasn't obviously got all the letters yet but she's starting to um, so she does these with us as well um, I think she does two or three pages a day and then um, maybe comes back to it later in the day or further on it's even got word searches in that one so that one was a pound but i think i got that from the pound shop a little while ago um so we got that one then we've also got sticker book um for the first phonics so this one obviously has stickers that she can stick her um stick in and then it teaches you how to say the words and doing the sounds um, and then she can also trace the letters but this one is using a pencil as well and that one was I think two pounds in the pound shop then we have got four ones with pen four of the white pen ones so the first one we got which is from osborne books which was a numbers one i'm not sure how much paid that one i think it was two or three pounds from the pound shop so she gets to trace around the shapes um trace around the letters and normally if she's doing letters anyway she'll right trace over the number five where i've been doing little dots on a piece of paper and then she'll just try and write the five all over the page so it's most likely what she's going to do with this one um so then she gets to learn how to draw circles and things as well which is why i thought i'd pick this one up even drawing the octopus so she is good at quite tracing shapes it's just doing it freehand that she struggles a bit at the moment then we got three pepper pepper pig ones which were all three pounds from the works so we've got white clean first counting which is quite similar to the one um there but it's given her something different in the book to do first letters and first words again and then the last one i got which was slightly more advanced for her which i thought she might be able to do so it is actually learning numbers but it's got stories in as well and she's got to put all the words in the right slot so um any words with ow on the end oe um 
and any words with OA in. So she's got to sort out these num uh, letters, um, words here and putting them in the right box. But I thought that would be a bit more harder for her, but we can always go into it um, when she's ready. Um, so that one is a penciled one and that was four pounds from the works. So the next bit I will go through, I can't really get it over there at the moment. Um, so I'll go through the arts and crafts. So this is the one of the reasons why we didn't get another drawing board because we bought this one. So this was actually 25 pounds from Aldi. I think it was, um, it was on offer. I'm not sure if it's still in there, but if it is, I will link it down below. Um, so we got her an art easel. She has actually been asking for a while. So this one has a blackboard, a whiteboard, and she can clip on her um, drawings, which she loves doing. Um, so it comes with the alphabet and the um, numbers. And it's also got like three or four little um, chalks that come with it. And then we've also got somewhere to put the paints in. So with the paints, we have those already. I'm just going to put them in a little bag um, and the paint brushes. So she's got those if she wants to do a bit of painting on Christmas Day so she can at least play with it. Um, but they won't be put down for like Christmas presents um, with it. So then the next few bits that are included in the arts and crafts bits that we got. So all the arts and crafts we're putting down as sharing toys. For both him and her even though he's not quite ready for it but um obviously he can do some coloring and things when he gets a bit older um because we're probably when he's near enough one we get the really big crayons so he'll be using um drawing anyway so the last thing that we got um so this would be a sharing gift um that came with the three for two on these ones, the Crayola set was these big pack of felt tip pens, which at the moment obviously is just for Skylar. So there's 65 in here and it comes in its own carry case, which I thought was quite good. So we've got those ones and it looks like it comes with some drawings in as well. So that's another set of colouring bits in there. So this one will actually be for Skylar because we'll probably have to replace the play day by the time he gets older. Um, anyway, um, so this is three plus anyway, so he won't be ready for it. Skylar's asked for the bluey play day, um, which we got her anyway. I think I got it for it was either ten ninety nine or eleven ninety nine on Amazon. It was on offer, but it's normally fourteen ninety nine, so we got that a bit cheaper. Then she's got, um, they both got some new colouring books. I think these were from a pound from the pound shop. So there's a farm colouring book with some stickers. And then a jungle scene sticker book. So this one's just stickers, but um, it'll be just something for them to do. Um, so I'll just build up their craft box. Um, so they've got the bits throughout the year um, and then if they do run out, I just buy them um, the cheap stuff from Pound Shop. I don't really try and spend too much on it um, if I can. Then for the art easel, we have got a three drawing paper, so we'll be giving it to her. This was actually $6.99 off Amazon for two books, so there's actually like 60 sheets here. Um, I won't turn it around because it's got my address on the back so I've just sent it like that um, but that she'll love when she's at nursery she apparently uses an art easel which is why she's asked for it and she comes home with like 30 drawings and we kept thinking oh she's stolen all the other children's drawings but she hasn't she actually sits and draws those during the day um, so yeah we've got that to go with those ones then, oh. So the pencils that we got her to go with the books were these ones. So we, these were from the works. So we've got a pound um, ones and they've got the little grips on to make it a bit easier for her. 
we will actually be taking the pencil away from her on this one but then there was also Pepsi one which was a pound I just got this one basically for the pencil sharpener because I don't have one um, and then we've got a little rubber to go with that as well So for Skylar and Theo, this will probably go in a shared pile. This is, um, Skylar's been playing with the bluey set. So she's got a lot of the bluey things. Um, and she's actually been playing with them with Theo while we've been around. So she'll pick the toys up with him. So she thinks that he's actually playing with it. So we've got the dad barbecue set. I think that was £10 we got from Smith Toys. Um, so we've got a lot of these anyway. So that'll be down as a sharing toy because both of them use it anyway. Then we, I did go on Toonies. So they've, she's got a Toonies box which they're going to share. So they're, these are now sharing for all the Toonies. So Skylar did ask for um, the action and play list um which is the little dog i'll put a picture here um we did order that one but it's actually not got here because um when they sent the first delivery they didn't put it in the box so we've reordered it and it's meant to be coming soon but it hasn't come yet so these are at, were four for three when i went on there but there's also 20 percent off now um, so we've got also got her the snowman and snow dog story. She wanted the minions one, and that's an audio story. And then the Gruffalo she's also asked for. She has has asked for a few more, which we put on the list for other people to get her. Um, well, get them. Um, so it'll be both for them. But there's such a variety. Um, we have found that she spends so much time sitting, drawing and playing and she'll just have that running and listen to it and sing along with them. We've got her, um, so last Christmas I think we got her Toy Story, um, what was the other ones, Paw Patrol ones and... There was one more, uh, Minnie Mouse, um, and we've been changing her music on the actual Toonies ones, but they are so worth the money, these um, Toonies boxes. And they've got educational ones like Space, Dinosaurs, um, and some other ones, but we haven't got those for her yet because we didn't know if she was going to be, how much she was going to be into it. So we've decided to just leave those for now because they were six plus so we don't know if she's going to be ready for those yet so we've left those for now and then also for the art easel we've got them both um some crayons these are big chunky ones these were 150 from asda and there's 20 crayons in those so the next bit we've got for both of them is Hot Wheels. So this is going to be something that he grows into anyway. But Skylar has her Hot Wheels out quite a lot. Um, when we're here, we'd be supervising her anyway. So when he's a bit older, should um, he's a bit older, we'd be watching both of them anyway, um, like I said. But Skylar has actually been wanting Theo to sit down and the baby bouncer like he is um, while we're here and she plays down there with him and she sort of tries to make him watch. So I think it's going to be something that they'll both be interested in by next Christmas anyway. But obviously with him, we're going to have to just supervise what he's doing. We've already got like the Hot Wheels garage and this long track, which he might be able to play with anyway, even just sending down the cars on the garage um, when he's able to walk. But for Christmas, we have got, um, we've got um, this one, which is the Gorilla Toxic Slam. So it's basically one where it catches um, so it doesn't need any batteries which we thought was amazing um, and you just sort of hit it and then it's got to activate um, the gorilla's mouth and it catch them and things 
um, so we've got her one of those this year. Oh, okay. And then we got some extra tracking, which Skylar's got a load of, but she does never has, seems to have enough. So we've got a bit of extra tracking. I will try and put the prices on the screen because I can't remember how much they were. And then we've got some extra cars because we always lose them. So these were 10 pounds. So we only buy them at Christmas and the extra cars. Sky, uh, there's a few extra bits for Skylar, so I will start with her advert calendar. So we haven't put this in the budget for Christmas, but she's got her own advent calendar. She's actually picked out the Hot Wheels one. This was $70.99 from Smith Toys. Then her big present for herself. She doesn't actually know she's getting this. <laughs> so we got this from Aldi. I don't know if they still do it, but I'll try and link it below if they do. But it's a little medical cart. She actually loves being doctor and practicing on me, my husband and my son. So we thought that would be good. So that was $34.99, which was such good value. Let me put that there. Then she actually picked this out. She still loves her puzzles. So we topped her up on a box of puzzles. This was 10, 10 pounds down to eight pounds or 10 pounds down to six when we bought this. But we got this in um, Smith Toys. Um, she picked this one out herself. So she actually knows she's getting it. All right, all right. Then we've got her, the Trolls Little Doll. She loves little dollies like this. Um, she hasn't watched Trolls at the moment, but she probably will very soon. Right. We've just had a... Just had a feed. Now we've got hiccups, so let's try and get this bit done. So I think I've done all Skylar's presents now. I've just had a pull around what I've got. Um, I've just got stocking fillers, which I quickly can go through with you, but I haven't done much in the stocking fillers. So with Theo, we've got him this, which he will probably have, um, we won't leave for Christmas, he'll have it in the next week or so, because he's started being um, a bit more active. Um, so that was, I think we got that for £35 from Smith Toys. <clears throat> then we've also got him this, which he'll probably have nearer when he's one, but it's something that he hasn't got. Um, it was just that was on offer at Costco. It was down to 20 pounds um so this is the animal VTech um play set three pounds um so it's got loads of little bits um little animals which he'll probably love when he's at that age um skylar's already seen it and says oh i want that for christmas and they're like no it's theo's present so that'll probably be his big present but he's got to grow into it a bit we have got him a few little bits. So the two toys we've got him. So we've got him two like oval type cars because he hasn't got any uh, cars because Skylar didn't have cars at that age. Um, so they were eleven ninety nine on Amazon. And then I got these from Asda George um, and it's just alphabet wooden blocks. Um, I just thought, um, it does say 12 plus, but Skylar was playing with some little blocks like this at her age, um, well, he, um, at his age, um, but when he, um, six plus, so I thought they're four pounds, um, and they, she, he can, um, obviously get colours from them, we can talk through the letters on them, and there's also, like, um, a pot, uh, there's also, I oh, see it's double sided, so uh, cup, uh, dog, they've all got the um, figures on. 
so we can learn some letters from that um, animals from that then we have got so a couple of books um is mostly what he's got unfortunately um but he'll love them i'm sure he'll like them like Scarlet loves them so one of these books is going in a stock and i haven't decided which one so this one was from the works for three pounds it's just a busy tractor one and um what they do on the farm then we got a fire engine one which was 59p from Home bargains, um, so there's a few different ones of those. You alright? Yeah. Then I have got this one. This was 99p from Smith Toys. It was on offer when I bought it. Um, and this one's like a little active one, so it's got move the um, little holes up and down so it does things. And that was a pound from, I don't think we're going to get that one again, but um, anywhere. So it was from Smith Toys at the time. Is it coming out? Better? So then I got these ones from TK Maxx. They were on offer, so they were four for five pounds. So in that one, you, so in that one we get where's Mr. Duck, where's Mrs. Hen, um, where's Mrs. Ladybird, uh, Ladybird, and where's Mr. Dog. Um, so they're like the felt type ones. Um, it doesn't actually say how much they were before on those, but those were on offer for £5, which I thought was good value. It's nearly £1.25 per book. Then I also bought these on offer. These were 2 pounds off Amazon for a pack of six Thomas books. So I just realised the one thing we quickly forgot was the bits we got. I got for the stocking fillers. So we haven't got too much for him. Um, but I've got a few bits for her. Um, so I always try and get toothpaste and toothbrush, um, just generic some ones. So um, we've got the little um, teeth toothpaste. I think I got that from Tesco's. And I got this from Home Scent, uh, Home Bargains, which was um, just under £2, I think. Um, so it's a Spider-Man toothbrush. She's got a few of these and she seems to really enjoy brushing her teeth with them. And it, it makes her um, try and do it herself as well. Um, then I've also got some of these little Christmas stamps. These were, I think, a pound from Home Sense as well. Home Bargains as well. Then we've got her pair of... It's okay. Pair of socks. Um, some thick, cosy ones for bear time. Um, these were £2, I think. Then we have got her, so um, we haven't got any soaps for him, and we haven't got too much for him to be honest, um, to go in and stock him, apart from a book was one thing. So for her, we've got some space um, themed colour changing bath um, stuff, so I think it goes green, um, so it grows green to blue, the foam changes. Then we've got her bath bomb, which I always get her because she seems to love them. So this is a gingerbread man one um, for her, but he won't be in the bath with her at this time. So they do have baths together, but they don't have bubbles in there because of him. So once he's out, she goes um, has some bubbles put in. And she's got a few bits of chocolate. We did have a pack of chocolate buttons but they've gone missing it must be probably obvious but i can't see it at the moment so she's got some buttons uh chocolate buttons in the little tubes which were a pound she's got some chocolate coins with the grinch on from home bargains these were a pound as well then she's also picked up one of these from the range um so we said she can have it for christmas in her stocking which was a marshall one um for and that's uh, one pound as well. 
then I picked these today up in Aldi, some Christmas cutlery, and that was three ninety nine. And I thought that was quite cute. It's got little um, snowman, Father Christmas on, reindeers on, and some bears. Um, so I haven't got him any because um, it might be that she's finished using it by that time. Then she's also got a little surprise Lego figure bag, which she loves doing. Um, so she always has her little Lego with us. Um, she has her Duplo Lego on her own, but we always supervise her with these, even when she's playing with the little ones, especially now that he's around. Then I also got this for 3 50 from Primark, a little hairbrush, because she her one's um, too small for her now and her hair's getting quite long. So we've got her one of those. Um, so that's just got an S on and Mickey Mouse. So she's going to love that one. Then the other thing I got for his stocking, because I didn't really know what to put in a baby's um, stocking. I think with my daughter last year, we put some packs of fruited food in. Uh, not last year, and um, when she was first born, because she was about to go into the feeding stage on Christmas Day. So we put some pouches of um, nice food in. But we can't do that with him because he hasn't got to that stage yet. So the she, he's got a book and some little socks. These were one ninety nine from Home Bargains as well. Um, but otherwise, I don't really know what to put into a little baby's stocking. If you have any ideas, put them in the comment below. But um, I didn't really know what to put in there and because he's not really going to remember... I thought I'd put one or two things in, but I can't really do the little basic bits that I do for Skylar. But yeah, so I've just got those bits at the moment. So obviously when he gets older, he's going to get something very similar to what his sister has. But we can't do that at the moment. So I've just realised I forgot on the day to record the end of this video. Um, but we are having a bit of a lazy day because he's a bit poorly. He's got his sister's cold, haven't you? Um, but anyway, if you did like that sort of video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next video.